Willis MB, basic wheel bearing and seal installation on the inner front and rear hubs. I've got my cup or race part number 52943 already installed in the hub. In this video, I want to show you how to pack bearings by hand and install the double lip seals correctly into the hub. The Timken company number is 18590, but for our purposes with the Jeeps, the part number will be number 52942. I like to leave the bearings in their packages until I'm absolutely ready to use them. It is a good practice to clean the bearings with either acetone or mineral spirits before installing the grease. This can be done by rinsing the part in a very clean container with your solution and then gently blowing them out with compressed air. You don't want to use any sort of rag or anything that will leave some debris in the bearing. Here comes the fun part. Take a golf sized dollop of the grease you are using and place it into the palm of your gloved hand. Next, take the bearing and slap it or tap it into the corner of the grease. What you're trying to do here is you're trying to force the grease inside all of the space between the rollers and the cage on the bearing. I'm using latex surgical gloves and I'm using a product by Staplex in extreme pressure premium red grease with a lithium component to it. I'm moving the bearing around and continue tapping the grease like you see here. It's actually getting forced through the cage and onto the rollers. Continue working around the bearing until you have grease forced through that whole opening in the top of the cage. I'm only lifting the bearing off of my palm about an inch or so, and I'm moving it around in probably quarter inch increments and forcing the grease as you see here. This only takes a minute. There are tools that do this automatically, but this is just kind of an old school way that I was taught to when I was a young kid, and some of the old school mechanics will probably agree with me this is the best way to pack a bearing. When you're sure that you filled all the voids between the cage and the roller bearings on the inside, you can wipe off any excess or any globbed up grease with your finger. Save a little bit of it because what we'll do after we get this all packed is we'll run a thin film around the outside edge as I'm doing here just to make sure we got a nice coating before we install this into the race and then we'll even reach inside the race and apply a nice thin coat on that as well. I don't mean a lot of grease as you see here I'm just sort of smearing a thin membrane over both parts. The gloves are going to make it really nice to clean up and I will use a separate set for each bearing set that I do on each wheel. You want to be really clean when installing the bearings. I'll double check to make sure everything is coated up and then I'll drop the tapered side of the bearing into the cup or race inside the wheel hub. Once the bearing is installed, I'll take a clean rag and just wipe up any little excess that might be on the hub to prevent the seal from installing properly. These exclusive double lip seals are available from Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts and are part number A864. I'll point to you with my drift here the exact location of the double seals. These two raised lips are what will make contact with either the spindle or the axle in the rear and prevent the grease from leaking out. The lip is installed facing towards the inside of the hub or facing towards the bearing to keep the grease from leaking outside of the hub. I'm putting these into position by hand and then I'm going to use a simple soft face mallet to gently tap the seal into place. You want to tap it until it's flush with the outside of the hub. There are tools to do this but it can be done very easily with a soft face or a rubber mallet. Double check to make sure it's flush with the hub and your seal is installed. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe to us at Team G503 on YouTube. All parts provided by Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts. <laughs>